2018. Suicide rates continue to soar nationwide, especially for young people, and suicide is now considered as much a public health emergency as it is a mental health crisis. On this World Suicide Prevention Awareness Day, we want to take a moment to discuss ways to recognize the warning signs and talk to those who may be at risk. And this morning, we're joined by Marnie, Lom uh, Marnie Lombard, a program coordinator at Forefront, the UW Suicide Prevention Center, and Ali Svensson, the co-founder of Mod Pizza, who's made suicide awareness a priority for the company. Uh, you've made a big push, and, and we appreciate that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just curious, tell me just a moment about Forefront. What does the program do, and how does it help? Forefront Suicide Prevention exists to empower and educate individuals and communities to take action that they can sustain. Mm -hmm. Also, champions systemic change. We are now the first and, and really only state in the nation with requirements for all healthcare providers to have training in suicide prevention. Mm. And we also work to restore hope in families affected both by suicide loss and by suicide attempts. And I think when you hear the statistics that surprises I think the most people to, to know that in Washington state, the second leading cause of death for people under the age of 34 is suicide. And you were affected by that. Your son took his own life at, at, and he was in college. That's right. And Marnie, uh, 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 Ali, you actually uh, have a story um, why, why you guys got involved, Mod mm -hmm. Pizza, with someone who also took his own life Isaac. at a young age, right? Yeah. Isaac, so tell us about we Isaac. Did. It was a real um, call to action for us. We. Um, <clears throat> Very special customer of ours in one of our in our in an Illinois location in Naperville. Um, he connected very closely with our squad there, and um, uh, tragically, he died by suicide last year. And um, his parents, Isaac's parents, wrote us a letter and wanted us to understand um, that, in spite of this unimaginable loss, um, they wanted to thank us, thank Mod Pizza for being a place. Um, that really was important to Isaac in his life. It was his place of belonging. And they wanted us to understand how significant that was to them. Um, and the letter that we received just kind of stopped us in our tracks. And when we caught our breath, we realized we, we wanted to do what we could with what we have, which is a fast casual pizza concept, a platform throughout the country. And, and uh, we wanted to do what we could to help. Um, and that's what led to the Isaac pizza and what we've been working on for the last three months. Yeah. And what have you learned throughout that process um, in, in, in light of Isaac's death? Uh, for us, you know, it, um, I think everybody would agree it's a very serious topic and it's incredibly scary, especially to those of us that don't have any training and don't know what we're supposed to do to try to help. Um, we partnered with an organization called the Jed Foundation and their chief medical officer came and spent time with our support center. We wanted to focus first and foremost on our employees, our mod squad. We have about 8,000 employees throughout the country. We wanted to make sure that we were being of service to them first and foremost. What do they need? How can we help them? And the Jed Foundation helped us understand that we don't need to be medically trained to help people that are in need. We need to be able to connect, communicate, check in on somebody, and then provide connection for them yeah. to a resource that they might need. And, and they helped us use our platform to do that, which is what we're working on. And Marnie, in our final few seconds here, what can people watching do to help? You know, what we really want is for parents and friends to make a habit of reaching out to each other for that deeper check-in than we usually do. Mm -hmm. And some of what's involved is asking that pointed question and then waiting and listening. Mm -hmm. Don't say, just listen. Build the habit of giving your loved ones space to tell you That's what's terrific. going on. Mm -hmm. Allie Svensson, thanks for you both for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.